New images of the monarch show King Charles extending an olive branch to Prince Harry. The king visited Scottish First Minister Humsey Yousaf at Buckingham Palace during one of his official engagements. A picture that appears to be of Prince Harry and Prince William dressed in uniforms can be seen in a frame on a side table in pictures showing the two men shaking hands. Despite no longer serving as a functional member of the royal family, the photo demonstrates that Prince Harry is still very dear to the king. On May 6, the Duke of Sussex was present for King Charles's coronation. Meghan Markle, who remained in the US, did not accompany Harry to the historic event. Just hours after his father's coronation ceremony concluded, the Duke hurried back from London to attend Prince Archie's fourth birthday party in California. The Duke of Sussex sped to Heathrow Airport to catch his flight home, as senior members of the royal family went to Buckingham Palace to see the fly past. The spokesperson for the Duke of Sussex claimed earlier this week that Harry and Meghan were involved in a near-catastrophic automobile chase. The incident happened following the Sussexes' Tuesday attendance at an awards presentation in New York. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Ms. Ragland were embroiled in a nearly disastrous automobile chase last night at the hands of a gang of extremely aggressive paparazzi, according to a spokeswoman for Prince Harry. Over the course of this unrelenting pursuit, which lasted more than two hours, there were numerous close calls with other motorists, pedestrians, and two NYPD policemen. Even if the public has a certain amount of interest in public figures, this attention should never come at the expense of anyone's safety. Given how these photographs were acquired, their dissemination encourages an extremely intrusive activity that is hazardous for everyone concerned. When the incident occurred, Meghan and Harry were traveling back from the Ms. Foundation for Women Award ceremony in New York, which was celebrating its 50th year. Since his son's spokesperson's remarks on Wednesday, King Charles has not spoken to Harry, according to The Telegraph.